people are coming to this part of the world where it's fairly remote, where you're away from your everyday life, you know, your nine to five repetitive schedule. You come here and it's, it's the environment that's the most conducive to doing something beyond your ordinary. You ready? I'm ready. The idea of throwing myself out of a plane and from 15,000 feet above the ground is absolutely insane. By the way, whose idea was it for us to do like the largest jump? Now this was my second time skydiving. I had previously done it in Japan, but that doesn't mean that I was any less nervous. And I think the scariest thing is like riding the plane up. There's something about the resistance people have to put themselves in a position where they do something that ordinarily their brains would tell them don't, not to do. And then moving through that and taking it head on and overcoming it just is such a rewarding experience. You get to dress like a superhero or a space cadet. Woo! <laughs> And I think I felt most nervous, you know, taking off in that plane and realizing that we were really going 15,000 feet in the air, like in, in life in general. Some of the sweetest moments are the ones that come through like adversity or, or, or overcoming like a challenge. Yeah. And this is probably one of those things, eh? Like, I guess it's, it's the reward of pushing yourself outside of a, like beyond a boundary. Right. Some of your best growth, I think, in life is when you push yourself beyond your comfort zone. And once the door opens, it's like, okay, there's no turning back now. This is gonna happen. But one of the reasons I love skydiving so much is it allows you to experience the world and life from a different perspective. From an epic perspective, I mean, here you are floating above the world and seeing just the beautiful landscape beneath you. That rainbow just served as the icing on the cake on what was an epic, amazing, awesome, ah, triumphant experience in New Zealand.